Hello, my beautiful Geminis. How are you all doing? Happy birthday to those who are still having a birthday, and happy birthday to those who have had a birthday. We're going to be doing your love reading, Gemini, for June 15th through the 30th, 2020, so the remainder of June 2020. These will be general readings, so please just take what resonates, because it may not resonate for all of you. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, unfortunately, these general readings are not going to possibly resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate, Gemini, you can check the other placements in your chart. Sometimes those resonate more, uh, especially your Venus in love situations, okay? Let's see what you got going on. And I'm sorry about the fan noise in the background. I know that you can probably hear that hum-ish noise. That's the fan. It is hella hot here in California. Um, it is like... It's been in the triple digits, and now it's in the 90s, higher 90s. Let me see what my room is here. Oh, hell, my pillow's in the way. Hang on. It is 88 degrees in my room upstairs here, so it is hella stuffy and hot. So, got my iced coffee over there, so pardon me if I take a sippy here. Here and there. Okay, you ready? I hope you're all doing well. Again, these are general reads that may not resonate for all of you. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Before we get started, remember time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So some of this may have already happened to you. Some of this may be happening as you're watching this. Maybe this hasn't even happened yet. It may be coming to you whether in June, end of June, or it could be past that. Energy is fluid. These are timeless. This is just the energies for the end of June, but it doesn't mean that it has to happen within those two weeks. You know what, Gemini? I'm just going to say this before I start. Okay, because I'm sorry for the background noise of the fan. It's it's quiet up here, so I decided to finally do the reading. All of a sudden, the mother effing kids that live here, pardon me because I can't stand them, um, are screaming. Screaming, slamming doors now, so I'm sorry if you hear any of that noise. I'm going to try to ignore it. I am in the process of trying to find another place to live because these people just moved in. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with them. So, hey, my Geminis. Hangman. So, you feel like... In a love situation, I'm hearing straight off, Gemini, you feel like you're in a state of limbo. You're just kind of hanging out, not wanting to do a whole bunch of anything. But in your love life, your love situation, whatever may be going on, you're just kind of in limbo and just sort of hanging out and not doing a whole lot of anything right now. Let's see what your energy is specifically, Gemini. Knight of Pentacles. Kind of taking it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Moving forward, doing your thing. But still, just taking it slow. Not in a rush to go do anything or go anywhere. I am recording this, obviously, in June. Well, it's not obvious, but it's in June. A um, mm, little apathy here. Five of Cups. Let's think about that. Let's talk about that. Uh, during the pandemic is still going on, and now the riots and, you know, things going on in the United States. So, pretty rough time. So, um, you know, we're, I think a lot of us are still not doing a whole lot of anything. But in your love situation, it's kind of like you're at a... I don't know, standstill or limbo or... But you're apathetic about something. Interesting. Um, feeling a bit sad, feeling a bit empty. You have three empty cups here and you are physically... This person is physically emptying the fourth cup. You still have a cup, though. Now we got a siren going. <laughs> Fuck, man. Jesus. You know, honestly, Gemini... I am so mother effing tired of the situation that I'm in and this whole COVID thing and whatever. I mean, I was okay with the COVID thing, but recently it's just kind of gotten on my nerves because now I can't leave the house because of, I don't, I don't want to be around what's going on here. And um, all I want to do is just go to the damn library, but I honestly, I want to move. I'm going to buy a mother freaking van and I'm just going to take off. I'm going to do my readings from a van. I just, I don't want to, it's too expensive to live here. I can't really go anywhere where I can be on my own and yo -za! Okay. Back to your reading. I'm so sorry. Scratch that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm hot. I'm cranky. And <sighs> yeah. Okay. Five of cups. Being apathetic. So here's the thing. Kind of focusing on the negative or having a hard time seeing the positive. Let's put it that way. Having a hard time seeing the positive. Um, I don't think Geminis in general dwell on the negative, but you do have your down times. My roommate that's sharing my room with me is a Gemini. She just moved in. She's beautiful. But, I mean, she's had her down times here, you know? And it's, it's, it's hard for me because I don't really know how to help her. But, 
you know, she gets over it. She deals with her little downtime, and then she's back. So I don't think you dwell on things, but something's bothering you. Something here is bothering you. I think you try to keep yourself busy, and you're just moving forward and moving along, just kind of step by step. But there's still something internally and emotionally that is bothering you. Excuse me, I need to shift. Uh, my boobs don't... Oh, my God. I must knock the whole damn chair over. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's better. I can sit towards the desk a little better. Wow. Five of cups to the eight of cups. Wow, Gemini. What's going on? You're walking away from something. But I'm feeling sadly walking away from something, but you have to. Seven cups that have drowned. One cup left, still afloat. No matter, still burning, but you're walking away. Where are you going to, Gemini? Where are you going? Try to stay strong. Wow, okay, Gemini, let's, let's see what's going on here. This is some pretty heavy energy here. Mm. You're trying to be brave. You could be dealing with the Leo, just to be on the... With the Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is the Leo card. I will point signs out if they come out in the reading, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be dealing with those particular signs, even if I point them out. Um, you're trying to be brave and gather your strength moving forward, but I... You're not happy about something. Interesting. We will clarify. I'll do some clarification um, later. We'll get to your person next. So your person, Gemini. Death and rebirth. Something is ending. It's interesting because the death and re death card is, is about transformation and rebirth, but it's 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 there's the infinity sign in between, which I find interesting that they put that there. Uh, this you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio. This is a Scorpio card, by the way. Um, it's like co life is constantly about things, endings, new things starting, you know, transition. We're always transitioning. That's what kind of the cycle of life is about. You know, you start off, you're born. And at the end, you die. But within that period, those two periods, you have, um, you're born. And then through life, you have your ups and downs, your trials, your tribulations, your happy moments, your good memories, beautiful points in your life that you can look, you know, fondly upon. But there's always new adventures and new journeys to go on. So your person, again, could be a Scorpio, but doesn't have to be, is, I don't know if you have someone in mind or if you're dealing with someone. person's going through some sort of transformation. Page of Wands could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, page of Wands. It's a new... You've either just met this person or a new relationship. A new... Yeah, this person kind of does their own thing. You know, they're, they're very much a free spirit. They're very much, as you Geminis are, they're very much... Um, kind of dance into the beat of their own drum um, has an idea of what they want is not afraid to go after it so your person something has ended and now your person is being transformed and moving forward with whatever it is they are I mean I'm hearing him persistent persistent going after whatever it is they want I don't know if that's you, Gemini, or something else. Let's see what else we have. King of Cups. Mm. Emotional maturity. Um, masculine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, but we usually resonate with one more than the other. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if you could hear that. Oh. Mm, I'm not going to say a damn word here. Try not to whine during these readings because it happens all the time and I can't deal with it. Uh, King of Cups. So we all, okay, so anyways, we usually resonate with one more than the other. So your person could very well be the more, the more masculine, regardless of the gender. These are not gender specific. So even if you resonate with feminine energy, you could be a, ma a male and resonate more with feminine energy and vice versa. You know, feminine with masculine energy. So 
you know, and these are not just heterosexual couples, they could be same sex. So this is just masculine energy. Masculine energy is in touch with his emotions. Your person is in touch with their emotions, um, but kind of uh, is caught in their head about emotional things. Sometimes they have a hard time, the King of Cups has a hard time expressing themselves. Cups, now, Cups can be uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you do have the Scorpio card, so you could very well be dealing with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but um, very in tune with their emotions, but sometimes has a hard time expressing that. Um, sometimes, not always. All right, depends on what they have in their chart also. Um, it's interesting because it's like your person knows exactly what they want. Something's ended. They're being reborn. They're moving forward. They're going through a transformation. They know exactly what they want. They're willing to go after it. They have ideas on what they want. They're just going, going for it. They're emotional. They may not, they may wear their heart on their sleeve. They may not be able to verbally, um, say what they feel, but, uh, they may display it in other ways. Let's see what other card they have here. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Six of Pentacles is all about give and take. I'm hearing that they're a very giving person. They are... That's interesting because I just heard they're open with their emotions. So, in this particular case, um, I don't, I don't hear that there's any problem with them expressing how they feel. Taking, I just heard taking the first step. I don't know what that means. Taking the first step. Did they come to you, Gemini? Or maybe they will come to you if you don't know. If this person, you don't have anyone in mind, um, we'll see when we get to your connection. Queen of Wands. Okay, let me just, I'm going to say this very quickly before I move on. The Queen of Wands is the Divine Feminine in the uh, Twin Flame Journey. So if you are on a Twin Flame Journey, this is the Divine Feminine that is presented herself again feminine energy she's a very powerful energy could be a very powerful connection here let's see what else we have here Gemini seven of cups interesting having a hard time making a decision it's like you don't know what to do Because you're taking your sweet time here with the hangman, not doing a whole lot of anything, kind of in limbo, not really, um, I don't know how to say this in a pretty way here, you're not really into this connection. With the Five of Cups being apathetic about the whole thing. Um, a little bored, just stagnation, Eight of Cups, you want to walk away. You're trying to be strong, you're trying to be brave, and showing a brave face. I'm hearing that you're showing a brave face, but you want to walk away. The Five to the Eight of Cups is Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups can be a Twin Flame card. But I read the Three of Cups as... Um, and it can be a celebratory card, too. But I read it as more as the mind, body, and spirit. Um, there's some sort of imbalance here. You may be overthinking it. Maybe you're not following your heart, which you really want to do. If, by chance, you may, be, you may have water in your chart. With the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups, you may have water in your chart. So maybe you're being a little emotional. You know, we're, you know um, that can come up if you have water in your chart. And the emotion can clog, can fog your, um, your mind. Let's see what else we have here. Two of Wands. See, this is interesting. Because 
with the Queen of Wands, I'm almost hearing you need to step into your power, Gemini, and really make a decision that is based on what you want. I almost feel like you're doing something out of a sense of obligation or a sense of... Because this Two of Wands is trying to choose what, what, what do I want to do? Which path do I want to go? It's almost like mapping out your future. Let's see what the last card is. The Fool. Interesting. You just want to let it all go and start, whoa, start somewhere new. Leave it all behind. You just want to leave it all behind with the Fool card. Take a leap of faith and take a chance and take a leap of faith in something. Okay. Yeah, look at this. On the bottom of the deck, under the hangman. The hangman was the very, the overall energy, but underneath that is the five of swords. So you're agonizing over something. You're, the fives are all about challenges and change. Something in your life is changing. It's a challenge for you, and you're agonizing over it. It's like you're leaving something behind. And there's like a little bird in your ear saying, don't do it, Gemini. Don't do it. I don't know. I don't know, Gemini. I don't know what that means. You would know better than I would in your situation. Again, take it as it resonates, but I don't know, man. All right, let's get some clarification if we, if we can here. Spirit, what can you tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups for Gemini? What is the, um, the apathy here, really? Okay. Mastering yourself and the situation. Teamwork. Hmm. I'm almost hearing with the Three of Pentacles that you're trying to master the situation and you're trying to, you're holding up this pentacle as if to say, I can do this. It's almost like a sense of obligation though. It's like you're doing what you, you, you need to do out of a sense of you think it may be the right thing to do right now but I don't think that's what you really want let's see what else we have as far as the eight of cups to the strength card let me see the bottom of the deck yeah in a, in a emotional situation it's something that you feel like you're trying to master it you're trying to get a hold on it but I think we have a we have a number of cards here that came out one two three four all right so for the Eight of Cups and the Strength card, you have, see, hesitation. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to invest in this? It's almost like putting work into something and waiting to see the, am I going to reap the benefits of my, re reap the rewards of my, um, oh, hell. What is the, reap your rewards? You put the work in. Oh, my God, I can't talk today. So sorry, Gemini. Um, I just, I think the heat is getting to me. It's pretty, it's pretty damn hot. I don't do well in the heat at all. Um, do I want to keep... <laughs> do I want to pick off the pentacles and move on from where I'm at right now? Or do I want to keep watering this particular tree, this particular relationship, connection, and hope that I will reap more rewards by doing that? investing in, it's like investing in something do i still want to invest in this is this going to be beneficial to me am i going to reap the rewards there we go now it kind of came out it's you're, you're trying to think and something's out of balance and it's calling you to oh boy i just saw the card underneath that but let's just see what we got here um you're just going to have to be patient with yourself and and i guess you're just going to have to wait and see because with the hangman and the knight of pentacles that's a very the, pe the, the pentacles are very, very slow energy. And you have three pentacles here. You have the three and the seven. The four of pentacles, from the three to the seven, is a four. And that means you're trying to hold on to something or trying to protect yourself. You're not wanting to let go of something. Whether it's somebody else, whether it's um, the situation you're in, I, I'm i not exactly sure here. We'll see as we move along. You, oh, geez, Louise, you have the tower here. All right, so there's going to be some sort of major shakeup in your life. You, 
I, what I'm hearing here is you feel like your life is falling apart. You feel like whatever is happening is, is not happening the way you wanted it to. And you feel like your life is falling apart. And it's almost, I'm going to move these over because we have another cat here. We have another cat underneath that. Guess what? You have the Eight of Cups right here, if you recall. Eight of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups again. When you have two cards that come out in a reading, in the same reading, two different decks, of course, um, that means that's one of the main energies that you need to focus on. You have the Eight of Cups here, and this is clarifying the Eight of Cups and the Strength card together. So the Eight of Cups is clarifying the Eight of Cups. That's even stronger when it's clarifying the same card. It's, I'm almost hearing that you either need to walk away from something, but I'm almost hearing that you're walking away, but you're hesitant to be walking away from something. You're just not sure if you want to move forward or where to go, what to do, where to go. Or, or on the other hand, you may want to walk away from this situation that you're dealing with and you really don't know... Again, which way to go and how to do it. But you feel empty. You've got empty cups here. You feel empty with this situation. So with the Tower card, it's you feel like your world is falling apart. Let's see, bottom of the deck, Hierophant. Hmm. You may have to ask for some spiritual guidance here. Let's see with the Death, Rebirth card, and the Page of Wands. What can you tell me? You know what? I'm going to do it this way. The Death and Rebirth card. I just want to do that one on its own. The Death card on its own. Death card's pretty powerful. Do we have any other... Uh, a Sagittarius. You also have Sagittarius in here. But again, you don't have to be dealing with any of the signs I've mentioned. Leo, Sagittarius. Did something just flip backwards? Or just flip up? Oh, 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 oh. There it is. And he's pentacles. Alright, so... Your person has ended something, is being transformed, it's a rebirth, and they want to start a whole new life. And I think this person wants to start it with you. All right? Ace of Pentacles. And then you have the Page of Wands and the King of Cups. We're going to get a card for that, please, Spirit. We got a bunch of cats here. All right. What do we have here? We have the Page of Pentacles. This is for your person, for the Page of Wands and the King of Cups. Strength card, another strength card in the Fool. Strength card is here twice. So, the Page of Pentacles is very much about, um, very much a good student type energy. It's a person who is focused on what they want, very patient, um, is willing to learn everything and anything about it in order to move forward. So it's almost like, uh, the Page of Pentacles, the King, the Queen, and possibly the Knight have sent the Page out, trying to figure out if this is a stable, stable enough situation first before embarking on it. And this is your person. Interesting. And then they have the, so they're trying to be brave, or they're brave, or they're trying to gather their strength and move forward. But there's the Fool card again. Oh, you got the Fool card twice too, trying, wanting to take a leap of faith with you, wanting to take that chance but is a little hesitant right now. Mm. Seven of Swords. Wow, and you know what I heard, Gemini? They don't trust you. I don't think they trust you, for whatever reason. There's some sort of deception here. Either that or they're lying. They may be lying about something. There's some sort of mistrust here. Maybe you don't trust them, but this is the bottom of the deck clarifying their cards. Six of Pentacles. If there are any cross watchers out there, hello, cross watchers. Uh, Gemini and cross watchers, do keep in mind that these rules can be reversed. So I'm doing the reading with the intentions of this being Gemini, this being the other person. Uh, but the, the rules can be reversed. I just I forgot to mention that earlier. Six of Pentacles, give and take. What can you tell me about the Six of Pentacles? I would like to know above all about that Seven of Swords thing, but oops. So we have two that pop. My hands are so sweaty. The cards are having a hard time coming out because I'm holding up my hands. Are. Knight of Wands, Fast and Furious. They're in, <laughs> they're in a rush here. You got the Nine of Cups also that fell out. They're, they're in a rush to move forward with you. Uh, it's, I call the Knight of Wands a Fast and Furious card. And um, I'm almost feeling that they don't feel like it's happening fast enough. 
and um, like they want more from you. Sorry, I gotta gear rate it right now. Um, I do that in between my coffee to keep hydrated. Nine of Cups. So they're happy. <laughs> they're um, happy with the way things are, but they want more. They want the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I've got the Nine of Cups right now, but I want the Ten of Cups. They want more. That's the give and take thing. Um, Eight of Swords. They're caught in their head. They have this idea of what they want to happen. You, on the other hand, not so sure. Maybe you feel like they're not trustworthy. Maybe you don't want to take your your you want to take a leap of faith, but not so much with them. That you just kind of want to let everything go and go on your own and just do your own thing, Gemini. That's what I'm hearing. Queen of Wands. What can you tell me about the connection between Gemini and a person? The Queen of Wands. And then we'll get some Oracle cards at the very end here. If you do like this reading, Gemini, please do smash that subscribe button. I would love, love, love the feedback. And I also do pay attention. That's how I do the order of the readings. Whoever has the most views, likes, and comments um, are the ones that get the readings first because that's the ones I think that are into the love readings. So do, do like, comment, and I would encourage you to subscribe and join the tribe so you don't miss any updates on love situations that I put out pretty regularly every two weeks. Two of Wands. There's the Two of Wands again. Oh my God, Gemini. Two of Wands over here. Two of Wands clarifying the Queen of Wands. You need to step into your power and you need to make a decision on what path you want to take. What's on the bottom of the deck? The Seven of Wands. You are feeling very defensive. You are feeling like maybe there are people coming at you or whatever. Um, but you're in a good position. The door's open right here. You have the answer. So here's the thing, Gemini. You have to set some boundaries and say, listen. Listen. I am not ready for this. If you're not ready for a relationship, you're going to have to tell this person. If you are thinking about being in a relationship, maybe you're like, wait, I just need some time here to, to think about what I want. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. As I know, many times Geminis will get uh, uh, defensive, but you don't... Oh, I'm going to say you don't. You do it in a different way than a lot of other people. Page of Wands. There's the Page of Wands. Do we have the Page of Wands here somewhere else? No? Okay, I thought the Page of Wands came out. Yes, it did. Your person had the Page of Wands. Yes, the Page of Wands has come out twice. For your connection. The Page of Wands. Okay, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. Um, communication. Moving forward in communication. You're going to have to have some sort of... Uh, you're going to have to communicate with your person here. Some sort of communication needs to happen before you can move forward. I don't think you're... you're there's the... What? There's the Seven of Wands again. I'm keeping that mother effer out. There's the King of Wands. Seven of Wands on the bottom. And underneath that, King of Wands. Looky, look at it. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Twin Flame. Both both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine here. Um, we're going to get a card for the Fool. And let's see what happens there. What can you tell me between the... Jeez, um, oh, I don't know. I mean, that's Twin Flame energy, but that doesn't have to be, though. It could be a Soul Connection. I don't know. The Fool. What is the energy of the Fool Spirit to kind of help us get an idea of what is it that Gemini wants to take a leap of faith? Is it with their person? Uh oh, I came in reverse, so it just plopped upside down. Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is very much about defeat and wounded and about to giving up, basically. Um, it, it's in reverse, though. You don't know whether to, to take a leap of faith and get involved with this person or just you're not sure if you should give up on it or not. You're just unsure about what you want. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yes! What is going on here, Gemini? Seven of Swords. That's the Deceit card again. 
I don't know if you trust this person. I don't know if you trust this person, the situation, whatever the case may be. I just, it feels like a case of mistrust here. Something, something isn't right with you, Gemini. I don't mean it that way. I don't mean it. I mean, isn't feeling right. You're not feeling right about the situation. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I didn't mean it the, other, the way it came out. Um, let's see what we can get for a spirit oracle card here. Maybe we can get a little more information. Life is speeding up. Antelope. This is this antelope? Yeah, antelope spirit. Card number two. Life is speeding up. The situation you're involved with, I'm going to check the bottom of the deck too, but the situation you're involved with, you are in no hurry to get involved in a serious commitment, I'm hearing. And you're hesitating. And, and because you feel, you almost feel like you're pressured to do it by this person situation of the person and you feel like your world is falling apart and it's happening way too fast you're not even having a chance to think about it you know um you just i mean patience you just want things to go a little bit slow and you're trying your very best to stay strong to stay show a brave face and and act like you can this is okay everything's fine everything's fine but it says life is speeding up i think it's just going too fast for you and this is you're like I don't know if this is the direction I even want to go in and, and I'm being either pushed or pulled or something and the person your person's all gung ho about this they're going through some sort of rebirth they want a brand new beginning with you they feel like maybe they feel like with this situation with you, you they've been reborn and you're like oh my god I don't want to be responsible for somebody you know uh I, I, you know, you're just like, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, with the Page of Wands and the King of Cups, they are passionate about this. They're feeling a lot of emotion. They're happy about this. This is this is exactly what I want. They're trying to, uh, I don't know, thinking about, again, taking a leap of faith. Wanting to move forward and, and ready to, um, I don't know why they have the Strength card. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups, they're ready to move. They're moving too fast. This is moving all too fast for you. They're, they're wanting more from you than you're willing to give, and you're feeling stressed. That's why you're feeling defensive here. That's why you're feeling defensive. You need to step into your power and pick which... which, And you're, you're like, no, don't pressure me. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go. But you have to take control and set some boundaries and say, wait, wait, I want to think about this first. You may have to communicate with, that, with them. There's a page of Wands... You both have the Page of Wands here. Fast movement. Seven of Cups, you're indecisive. Two of Wands, trying to figure out. You have Two of Wands twice also. There's a lot of repeat cards. Page of Wands, Two of Wands. You have this this Seven of Swords come out twice. Life is speeding up. I think it's just going way, way too fast for you. Bottom of the deck. Oh, Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. Wow. That's card number 31. Time to let go. What is it that you need to let go of? Maybe you're just afraid of the change. Let go of the fear. There we go. That one just slid on out like ice cream. Blessings. Hmm. Well, I'll check the bottom of the deck, but there's not enough room here on the deck. Blessings. So, you may be afraid of moving forward. But you may not be able to see it right now. I'm surprised the moon card didn't come out. You may not be able to see it. But you are being... There are being blessings bestowed upon you. Oh, solitude. Wow, solitude. You just want to be left alone. You want to be alone. I have no more room here, Gemini. What am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? You need to spend some time alone and think about this. You have blessings in your life. You're having a hard time seeing it right now, I think. That's what I'm hearing. You know? You gotta sing your own song. 
I don't know. Um, it's funny because with the blessings, I hear that <laughs> fly away. It's a bird in here. So I'm hearing you need to fly away, spend some time alone, count your blessings, and then really decide what you want to do. It's a difficult dis decision here. Um, I'm just hearing it's, it's all going too fast. Life is speeding up. It's all going too fast for you. And you just have no idea which way to go. You know? You feel like you're being pulled in two different directions. Jim and I, um... Because it's like, this is you. This is what I have for you, but this is like you here. Just in limbo. In limbo right now. You're in limbo. Not sure what to do. Oh, Gemini's. Well, this is what I have for you. If this resonated, I do hope it helped some. Uh, if you like this kind of video, I don't know about this particular one, but if you like this style of video and love readings, please smash the like button. Do consider subscribing and joining the tribe because uh, you can hit that bell icon button and in two weeks we'll get another reading for the beginning of July. See maybe where all this is going. You know, it's, it's only two weeks from now, so you hit that bell icon button, it'll come up in your feed and you can click on it and see where you need to go from this point on. Um, you know, it's not like you have to make a decision at the end of June, but you may want to start thinking about it, about what you want, because this person seems to want some sort of an answer, and they, they want more than you're able to give right now. I'm hearing that loudly. They want more than you are able or willing to give. Gemini. Well, do comment down below if this resonates, and if so, how. Um, but I do hope it helped you. And, um, I do hope you're all staying safe, staying positive. Do stay happy. Stay strong. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you will join me again. And do consider subscribing and joining the tribe. I would love to have you as part of the tribe. Thank you so much, Gemini. I love you all. You stay happy. Stay strong. Mwah! Peace out.